Today, uh, Aeroterm uh, announced official groundbreaking for their new multi-tenant cargo facility. What that really means is a facility that has multiple tenants in it for cargo and flight services. And a couple of the critical tenants in here today, one is Gate Gourmet, which is a flight kitchen. And they're the ones that put food on an aircraft. So if you're flying in KLM or Iceland Air or WestJet and those sort of airlines, really critical for an airport uh, to have an internationally recognized and high quality caterer. And Gate Gourmet has uh, chosen to invest and expand their operation in Edmonton. The other components of this facility are on what we call ground handling or below the wing services. So that's the moving of the bags around, moving a feeling of the aircraft um, and, and general overall maintenance and cleaning. Th those companies are also locating in this facility and what we've seen as we've expanded new facilities here with developers is that people that are at the airport not only take an operation they already have but they grow it. So typically they grow two or three times bigger than what they had before and, and the, it's, it's a great for Edmonton, great for job creation and also great from a, a servicing of the aircraft perspective. We have a little over 100 acres of uh, developable land for cargo distribution logistics in this area and then in the longer term we have 2200 acres available land on the other side of the runway. So you can see from a future perspective, this airport in their region is very well positioned to attract cargo internationally and across Canada, integrate it here, and then move it either into Canadian markets or out of Canadian markets. Uh, as part of the airport city and aerotropolis development that Edmonton Airports is, and we're recognized uh, internationally as one of two airports in Canada developing this manner, uh, we've been out seeking private investment in many different facets, whether it be related to air cargo, facilities such as this and some of the ones around me, ground cargo, one across the street where Rosano Transportation is building their, one of their new uh, hubs at the airport, uh, or whether it be in commercial development, things like Ivanhoe Cambridge and Simon Properties and building a new outlet centre at the airport. Uh, obviously on the aviation side as well. So we've seen a lot of development, whether it be aviation related, aviation training related with partners like Canadian North Airlines and Canadian Helicopters, whether it be in fixed base operators, so servicing the north uh, in signature flight support or Shell Aero Centre, a new facility that just opened last year, and facilities like this. So there's a lot of private investment, which just bodes well for the economy and the long-term uh, vision of this region.